Hello everyone, I'm Leandra from Paper Artsy and this video is to show you our first new product release for 2017 from Zinsky Art. Eleanor started designing for us late 2016 with some gorgeous monster stamps and for 2017 we've actually got two releases, the first of which is in January. And uh, this is set one, or the, it's, it's actually her fifth set, uh, but this is set one of four in this release and um, as you can see on this particular set we've got some sort of flower houses. Uh, we've got some gorgeous samples that her wingmen have helped support her with for designing for this release and this one's by Wendy Malice using some of the little birds off this plate uh, and the and the lovely little um, house which is actually hung from a tree actually that birds from a different plate um, and then over on this side here we've got this great card by Lauren Hatwell she's done a little window here so that the bird is popping out um, from behind the little birdhouse and typical Lauren style she always finishes her cards beautifully on the inside as well there's quite a few quotes and things on these new plates as well, which are going to be really useful. And I love how Lauren has um, made this birdhouse here very much look like maybe a duck or a goose. <laughs> but she's definitely turned it into a character by adding eyes, which is kind of how Eleanor designed it to happen as well. If you look at it closely, you can see the similarity there. There's also some another sample here from Wendy Malice. So um, on the quote there it says, I'm different because I'm not the same. And I love how she's got this bird hanging upside down. And then I've got a sample here from Eleanor um, who has also used this birdhouse. But she is often adding extra little bits and pieces to the tops of the houses. Because she's an illustrator, uh, she will always bring in extra elements which just sort of make the stamp a little bit more than what you see on the face of it. So I love how she's used extra stamps there, but she also will often doodle extra elements as well. This is stamp six in the series. So ZA, Zinsky Art, Plate 6. And as you know with our stamps, they always come on easy mount. So they're trimmed out, ready for you to put straight onto your acrylic block. Um, and the foam just clings to an acrylic block, ready for use. That makes it super simple for you. Now here's a sample with this one. This was one of Eleanor's... Um, creations. Eleanor really loves watercolour. She does a lot of journaling. If you follow her on Facebook you'll see how prolific she is. She's always putting lovely little videos up of ideas, how to journal, how to watercolour. Um, and so stamping for her is kind of a, a whole new thing. Um, but I love the flowers in the set. This is actually a mini that we released last year. This little guy here. So that's ZN, a zinni. Zinni is like a Zinsky mini, and this is plate. This is number two. So these are a bit larger than our normal sized minis, um, but she's used that there with the flower from that stamp set. And this is another one that Ellen has done. And again, she has personalised the flower here on the left by adding a face to it. So it's just great that you can do those sorts of things with these. There you go. That's the same idea by Wendy. And then here's a sample from Lauren Hatwell. So she's put the, if you see that little flower element there, she's actually turned it on its side and used one of the leaves off here as a tail for to make it into like three little fish swimming along. And we've got this gorgeous sample here from Lauren. It's just beautiful. So she's got the flowers off here. She's actually created a bit of dimension to those flowers. So um, they're quite sort of puffed out. She's really textured the card, layered it on top just to give it that extra bit of dimension. And using the same set, here's another sample from Lauren. This one's a shaker card. So you can see that there's a window here with some little sequins rolling about inside. And um, she has actually used one of the stamps from an earlier set as well. So this is from 
ZA03, uh, the little girl there. She's tilted the head a bit more than she normally would from the stamp. So she's because all of these elements are stamped again and layered up. And then on the inside, just lovely how she mats and layers ready to go. And I like how she's put the quote down the side there. You'll see the quotes in a minute because they come from another stamp set. So this set is ZA07 and Ellen has done what is a flower pot with some flowers coming out there but I love the holes in these flowers. I just think they're gorgeous. It's just so different. Who thinks to put holes in flowers? Well, Eleanor does. Um, and you can see here the way Lauren has coloured this sample in. It really sort of shows um, that feature perfectly. I've got a couple of ATCs here from Wendy Mellis. And on this particular sample here, she has got uh, another stamp poking out from behind, um, which is from one of the earlier sets as well. And it's that set there, ZA02. So that's that little guy poking out. And you can see the eyeballs peeking through the flowers. So all of these were designed to mix and match with previous stamp sets, which, you know, just adds to the versatility. You can see there's quite a lot of flowers here. We've cut them all out ready to go. And you've got uh, the little birds as well. And then elements like this, which are really useful in building up your backgrounds, or um, the border of flowers here. You can see that Lauren has used that effectively around the edge here, just to sort of give that autumnal feel. And then the last in this release is the quotes set. So there's quite a few quotes on there, and I just love the humour that... Um, Eleanor brings with these quotes and there's also some other little elements that work really well but each of the quotes is trimmed out ready to go so that you can line them up on your acrylic block quite happily. Uh, here's a sample from Wendy. His disco ball and the little guy here is dancing. Actually kind of looks like he's in a straight jacket doesn't he? He's <laughs> in his white jacket and maybe he's not quite the, t the full ticket. <laughs> and one of the lovely quotes Here's another one. Hello, my little flower pop. Love that. And you can see that on this sample, Wendy's used that lovely um, leaf border very effectively. Here's one from Eleanor. Again, so Eleanor's um, used her lovely, bright, colourful backgrounds and she's cut this little batty guy out. He's from another previous set, ZA04, from one of the earlier Monster series. And she's just popped him on there, and then we've got the quote. Okay. And then finally, we've got a couple of samples here that Eleanor has made. And these are all featured on the Paper Artsy blog. So if you go and take a look at that, the post for January the 15th, or there's a link to it in the YouTube video description for this particular video. And you can go straight to that post and you can also look at all of this amazing artwork. And there's links to the blogs of all the people that have helped Eleanor produce these gorgeous samples. Uh, this one also, final one from Eleanor. And I just love, love the quote on this one. So I hope that inspires you. We do encourage you to go and have a look at the Paper Artsy blog and click on the links to find stockists. Everything's listed there for you. We'll see you again with another new release very soon.